Hey cousins, welcome to another video from Love and Every Stitch by Ruby Baby. <laughs> I'm Ruby Baby and in this video, I'm going to share with you a bunch of hats that I've made. Um, more hats that I've made. And remember when I said I did a thing? I'm going to share that thing. So, <laughs> so welcome to this video. I'm going to jump right into it as I try to always do and talk about these hats first of all. Hey, before we get started, I wanted to ask you, have you done all of the things? If you haven't done all of the things, please do all of the things or at least three of the things. Okay, thank you. I, I know you have to see me circulating around and I, again, I don't know what's wrong with me. Something must be really wrong with your cousin because every time I see something that I like and I, you know, sometimes I can just get it on my hook and start, you know, working with it right away. And sometimes it's like a thought I write it down or, you know, I put it on my to-do list. Oh, I really want to get to that. But this particular project, I had to do it. And by doing it, it was just like, it was like the matrix hood like i could not stop doing it <laughs> like first of all this is the scrap beanie or whatever and it's you know using scraps to create a beanie but it's like you know just the colors and the thing about it is it's the color for me like everybody knows i like color i don't particularly um crochet in black a lot like solid black but i'll incorporate black in my work and things like that but i am in love with color color combinations like all of the things and this here hat was giving me all the feels like all of them like i can just feel my endorphins rushing through like all the feels okay <laughs> so here's the hat right and this particular one, I have a bunch of them that I will show and in no particular order of how I made them. But this particular one I made is mixed with all black. And I just took scraps and I incorporated with black. And the idea is, this is one of the first hats I made, I remember, because my, my little my little fringes are long. I want to cut these. I'm going to cut these down a little bit. But... You make it and at, even as you connect your yarn and continue, you leave your little fringes out and you comb them out, you know, and it just gives it a more scrap, scrap look to it, right? So I absolutely love this hat. And I went online, you know, just kind of like Googling scrap hats and things like that. And I found, I mean whoever selling these hats like this i found a crochet scrap beanie that was selling for over 300 dollars. a scrap beanie and like i really feel like this is a way to you know turn trash into treasures you know like that's what i thought about when um when i was making these because you know they're they're the little skeins that you have laying around that's too much to do one thing but too little to do something else and it just kind of sits there waiting for use and this was so perfect and so when i started doing these actually this was the first one i made when i started doing these um i literally just picked up all the balls from um and i actually first of all i used i picked up all the solid balls so um I picked up all the solid balls that I had in my stash that was um that was like a scrap something that I knew I probably wouldn't do much with it. It might have even turned into stuffing for amigurumi for all I know. <laughs> but this was the first one I made. And I like this one, but I feel like it's just a little bit short. So, you know, I kind of wear it like that or whatever. And it's still cute. It's still cute. I really, really like it. So this was the first one that I made. But so I decided, you know, to go get some measurements and things like that so I can make better hats. So I did that. So after that, I made this one. And let me just fold it up. Made this scrap beanie. 
and that's what this one looks like and that's the thing like this is a everything goes hat like you can wear this every day with any outfit like it can just <laughs> it goes with everything and i love that i absolutely love that so that was the next one i made and then i made this one i'm just gonna, i'm just as i pull them out i'm just gonna keep filling up the brim the um the brims i made this one oh gosh i love these so much like <laughs> I love it so much that was that one then I made this is probably one of my favorite ones I'm about to show you this is <laughs> oh I love those colors Whew. so this is the other one I made and I did see a tutorial on it um and I'll find a link for that one but um, I didn't particularly like the tutorials that were out there. I didn't like the way they were kind of cinching the top. So I kind of did my own thing for that. And, um, yeah, so you can see how my top, well, you can see, that's a little thing right there. But you can see how neat, nice and neat my cinch is. So I worked on that. I have more. <laughs> then there's this one. Like, every single one of them makes me so happy. And it's like, every time... I like I start adding colors. I'm like, yes, yes. <laughs> so that's this one. I love that. See how that looks? Yeah, I like that so much. That's that one. I have this one. I could not stop making them, y'all. And they work up so fast. They literally work up so fast. And what's, oh, this looks so good on camera. Oof, I love that. That's how that one looks there. And what's funny is, like, I made these, like, on my down, like, some of them, you know, um, I, I took the project to work, and I worked on it when I could. And what's crazy is, you know, I work in a medical field in a very small setting. So, I, I can, they let me do a couple stitches here and there, but, like, you know, they ain't letting me go crazy. And <laughs> I literally had, like, a pillowcase <laughs> size bag full of scraps. And so I was trying to figure out, like, how can I, like, <laughs> bring this, like, you know, smuggle this inside so I can, um, <laughs> I can have it. And I figured it out. I got, you know, I got, <laughs> I got some, some pieces in and I was able to work on them. And then I did this one. And this one, I worked with gray sparkle. Can you see that? So what's funny about this one is... I actually had two gray sparkle random um, skeins of yarn um, laying around. And one was Red Heart with Love Sparkle and the other one was Mainstay Sparkle. And they are very similar in color, but not the same. But even using that in this, you can't even tell where i switch but i can i can actually tell because i know like you could you can almost tell by texture i guess but you can't really tell by color like this this part of it is the red heart with love i remember that and so this is kind of like my joining area and this part is like the mainstay over here but either way it's amazing like i love oh. so again i did mostly solids but then i started incorporating some variegates so this is a variegated yarn that i used and that's a variegated yarn that i use so like what i love about this is like you can literally do anything anything goes and it's gonna make a fantastic hat i would even go so far add more variegate variegated yarns along the way different texture yarns so like maybe incorporate some tweed yarns into it and like some marl yarns into it i would even go as far as you know how some yarns have like bits and bobs in it i think that would be cool if you had a yarn like that and like you know and they had like those little bits and bobs hanging out of it what else you can do oh i'll even consider because i have a lot of six weight yarn in my stash like you know little strands and you know maybe incorporating some of that so maybe instead of attaching one yarn i'll attach two two strands to one strand of bulky six and take it from there i haven't gotten that far but that's just i mean i literally made 
these hats in a matter of two maybe three days i made all of these and they all it's look isn't this a pile of joy it just looks like joy doesn't it <laughs> so i made these hats right all right i'm gonna just put this here that i have my little ottoman here so then before that before i even made these hats i had made some other hats <laughs> So I have them here and I have them um, stored up in my bag from my granny's closet 3G. Our cousin Refuge made this bag for me. I will put her link down below also so that if you want her to make you a bag, you, she can, she will. And she might even have some in her in her shop. She, 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 blah, blah, blah. she sells her stuff on Facebook, I believe. And it comes with this project bag it comes with a notions pouch where you can keep your scissors your stitch markers and whatnots and stuff like that and she, and she even gives you like a little plastic um, container that has some collapsible scissors a measuring tape stitch like the girl hooks you up she hooked you get you get the hookup and you get beautiful fabric look how beautiful my bag is <laughs> all right that's a shameless plug for my cousin refuge all right so i made a hat not just any hat, okay? Oh, also, before I move on, I want to mention, I mean, this is a super easy beanie. Like, anybody can make this if you know basic crochet. But what I did do, I did do, like, a little tutorial. Mm -hmm. I did a little tutorial of um, my takeaway on making these hats. So stay tuned for that if I haven't already posted it because I actually already recorded that i've already edited it i just didn't transfer it over so i can load it onto youtube so i don't know which video is gonna make it on first <laughs> but i did do a, a brief tutorial on this on my takeaway on these beanies because I, I it was too much for me to keep to myself like i had to share this joy all right so that's coming and then so um okay so back on track so you know my one of my favorite cousins here on youtube zelda nrj3 z released a little um a little hat pattern so you know she found this stitch that she loves so much and she created a really cute uh hat pattern for that stitch and she's been addicted to making it and i and i told her i said the stitch is beautiful and i definitely want to make it so i did so the first one i want to show you because i made a couple the first one i want to show you well first let me show you the yarn because i've been hope this yarn has been in my stash for the longest and it was the anya yarn and it was a number four medium weight yarn and it is 100 percent superwash merino and this is what I have left of it. And it came in this gorgeous skein. And I think I might even have a picture of it. If I could, if I could find it, I'll um, take it. Because it, I was so in love with this skein. And I took it and I actually did my own center pull ball. Because um, when I took it, I, I was elsewhere and i didn't have the opportunity to use the ball winder or whatever to cake it up so i literally laid it on the ch on the arms of a chair and just unraveled it really gently and wound it up on my hand so it's still a center pull because this yarn was kind of thin and i wasn't sure it says four weight but it definitely feels like a three weight I didn't know if I was going to hold it double or if I was going to hold it single. So I did the center pull hand winding. So if you're interested in that, I also have a tutorial for a center pull, you know, a hand winding ball. So anyway, the color is called Down to Earth. Okay, so that's the Anya. These are the specs. It's called Down to Earth. I don't, I'm not completely sure if Lion Brand still supplies this yarn. I did get it from their website a while ago and um i have i have a few of these but th this colorway was just speaking to me it's just so so beautiful so i used that and i made her hat and this is it this is how it came out this is the stitch she calls it the not knit beanie 
and this is the stitch and i love it so much and i decided after i did it and when i was making this it pulled so beautifully it felt so good using it and like the it, it's a very you know whatever merino wool feels like it feels like that <laughs> and it feels good and i decided i made it i made it a cat beanie so instead of making it round because it's very tube and it's very kind of like straight when you're crocheting it you have to like be careful um with your tension for this um for this stitch but i love it so much and look how cute <laughs> look how cute i love it so, and i and first of all again let me turn it inside out because even the inside out is gorgeous so i'm gonna i'm gonna honestly say like this might even be a reverse hat <laughs> it is so stinking cute i love it so much so this is my not knit beanie so when I was making this, I don't normally do projects or work on projects with such small stitches. Because, you know, essentially this is like single crochet. The whole hat. The whole hat is single crochet. And it was literally taking me forever. And I worked, like, I worked on this and I spent hours on it. And I literally only had, like, maybe, maybe, like, this much done in a day's work and i was like okay <laughs> i'm gonna have to do something else so what i did was i put it down and i made another one where is it it's in this bag somewhere hold on i made another one and this one i used um heartland thick and quick and I, i'm pretty sure this one is also discontinued i think heartland is still out there but I don't know if they have the Heartland colors in the thick and quick, but I literally made this hat using one skein and this in the color Joshua Tree. And this was a six weight bulky yarn and the color is called Joshua Tree. I, I, I forgot I mentioned that. And that's how this one turned out. So look how beautiful. Oh, that is so pretty. I, it looks so good on the camera. And this is like a very beautiful olive green and it has like kind of like some flecks of brown in it and that's how i cinched it up i just kind of did like some single crochet decreases to cinch it up um once i got it tall enough and i literally it's actually long so i have to flip it up but i could have made it shorter and one skein of it accomplished a whole hat and so that's this is how this one came out so i'm you know you can wear this one like this there we go there we go <laughs> so that's my not knit beanie numero dos. You like that? Mm-hmm. All right. And then we know that Z had her own yarn made, right? And I've held on to it and I've been cherishing it like crazy. And at first, being as though I, I was taking on knitting, I was trying to think of a nice knit project because I only bought one cake of it and I wanted to make sure I was able to do a project and, you know, that yarn would carry me through the entire project. So I finally used my birthday cake yarn and I want to show you what I made with that. So after making my project, I actually have this much left. And I actually started, I started doing something, some other nonsense, but <laughs> I have that. But this is how much I have left of it. So I, I should be able to do something with it or accent, use it for an accent of something. But it's, this yarn is so delightful. So I still got zhuzh in it. So happy. This yarn is so happy. Oh my gosh. Like, again just like those scrap beanies like this yarn was giving me all the feels and even working with this as you know and it's such a you know a small gauge of yarn like it was a pleasure it was it was a pleasure to just continuously work with this yarn and this yarn was made by fiber genie see it's the names so this was made by the Fiber Genie. And here was the ball band. And I got that cupcake. And I had also got um, 
a ball stitch marker. It has confetti in it. And this was Z's Groovy Birthday 2023. That was the name of this yarn. And it was 100% fine superwash merino and the um the skein was 295 yards okay so i was gonna do a knit oh it also came with a um a, a mini and that's that's how much i have left of the mini so at first I, you know i was trying to consider a knit a knit pattern to do this project with and then i said to myself that's blasphemy like why would i knit with yarn that my favorite cousin on youtube crochets and crochets only like that's her favorite thing yarn is life and crochet is her heart and so i was like how dare me even think about wanting to knit it so i crocheted it <laughs> and i crocheted her pattern <laughs> so here's the not knit beanie in the party yarn and that's how this turned out and hold on y'all let me show you first of all how beautiful this is so i did i did something a little bit different when i made this pattern so what i did was um i did a regular um single crochet back loop um brim and then i started i added my party yarn and i started and i did a, a row in the back loop so that you know it would um cinch back and what i did was when i did my foundation row in the back loop i did an increased set so i believe i have 72 stitches across for the brim and then when i when i added my party yarn i did a, a increase i did like um eight stitches and then double eight stitches and then double all the way around so that gave me a little increase and that just gave me a little more body for the body <laughs> I got the body yaddy yaddy. All right, so that's how that looks. And this is how it looks on. Oh, 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 I love, 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 love this beanie. So that's how it looks all the way around. <laughs> all the way around. And it is like the happiest beanie. And with all of these colors, it too matches everything. So you can you can even flip it up and have like a more fitted beanie like less slouch you can do that and yeah that's how it looks <laughs> so okay so that's all my hats as if that is not enough i that is all my hats and now i want to discuss with you the thing <laughs> all right i'm back all right so I wanted to share with you a thing that I did. The thing that I did. Remember that Alexa, let me see if I can find it. Hold on. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I had to like literally dig it out the dirty clothes hamper. <laughs> but I showed you this shirt. Okay. And I don't know if you can see the shirt I'm wearing right now. <laughs> but let me see if I can turn this down. So yeah. I'm wearing a shirt. <laughs> this shirt is my yarn chicken shirt and I actually took some pictures so maybe I'll just post the pictures instead of stretching my shirt and making myself look crazy to show you <laughs> but um I started a merch line and I st I've, I've been loading designs and ideas for a while and I had just never shared it and i don't know why because it's like okay i'm not i'm doing it for me because you know i i love wearing merch that represents the things that i love and the things that i do so like i have quite a few crochet puns and crochet um shirts and things like that i have quite a few christian sayings and you know um jesus stuff so that's pretty much the type of uh, uh you know apparel i keep on hand so there's been a lot of designs that i admire but it's like i you know i you i just got encouraged and like it's been rolling around in my mind to do 
designs for our crochet community. And so that's what I did. I just started making stuff. <laughs> So I wanted to share that with you just to let you know that there is a shop out there that I started doing some designs on and I would love for you to check out the shop. Like I'm not asking you to buy anything, but I do want you to just kind of go check it out, see what you like and you just kind of give me a little feedback. I don't know if you can sign up for like emails unless you make a purchase, but eventually I would like to like start you know having like an email um list and things like that but i wanted to show you um, a handful of other designs this was actually the first design i made and this is a notebook and it's you know just the abstract lady with yarn in her hair and crochet on her heart <laughs> so um that was my first design and i really love it and these are just a couple of other, you know, just a little, you know, um, these are like nice little notebooks and it says crochet life on it. Alexa weaving my ends is one of my, <laughs> because, you know, if, if I can get AI or anything else to just do that job for me on command, like I would just love that. <laughs> I would just love that. I did receive one of the um the demos for this shirt I designed. And it says weather today, 100% chance of me crocheting. And I made the sun like a ball of yarn with a bunch of crochet hooks as as the sun rays with the clouds and then the rain is actually skeins of yarn. And so that's one of my current designs. In that, I did want to do a giveaway. I do have a few other designs up there. I actually have coffee mugs too. I ordered some coffee mugs, but I didn't get the coffee mugs yet. And I was, even when I was telling you I did a thing, I was hoping that by the time I recorded this video, I would have received them by now, but I haven't. So still waiting on that. But the, 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 the shirts and things like that I just I think I'm gonna keep just because I only got one size and I don't know if everybody's the same size as me and I don't want to offer something that is not usable or you you know for everybody so but it's everything it's t-shirts it's mugs it's hoodies long sleeve short sleeve and i got the short sleeve and i will say it's pretty good quality and so i got the yarn chicken this is my design also <laughs> the yarn chicken and so again visit the shop give me a comment some feedback on what you think what you think of the hats that um the tutorial will be coming up for that and so i'm gonna give away the notebooks because i know we all love to write stuff and you know all of the things and I, I feel like this is something that anybody and everybody can use and i will pick a winner and all you have to do is make a comment like just come be a subscriber to the channel <laughs> make a comment and um yeah and i'll i'll get i'll get one of these notebooks out to you i don't i don't have like a special word or anything like that but just you know just please go visit the shop so i can start getting traffic over there <laughs> so yeah so that's it i will announce the winner let's do february 7th like somewhere in the first week of february i'll announce a winner for the notebooks and so that way i can probably get a response from you and get it to you for valentine's day to show my love <laughs> So yeah, so there you go. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for spending some time with me. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye. Hey cousins, one last thing. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated with every video that I post, okay? Thank you so much. I love you again.